Hello, it's Jeannie and I'm here with Create with Jeannie and I'm going to be sharing with you today a couple cards that I created with the Playing with Patterns Designer Series paper. This is my third week of doing my Facebook Lives and I'm thankful that you all have been joining me and I hope you enjoy the projects today. All right, I am going to just get set up here. We'll be set. All right, if you um, hop on, oh, there's Gidget. Hi, Gidget, hi, Karen. Thank you guys for joining. Um, today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you two cards. Each week when I come to you, um, it'll be a different theme or a different topic. Uh, today, with the Playing With Patterns, I want to um, show you a couple techniques that I use with the Stamparatus. So I'm kind of combining um, sharing you a couple cards and stamping with the Stamparatus. I haven't used it in quite a while and I think now's a great time to um, to bring it out and start playing with it. Hi Natalie, thanks for joining. So I'm gonna wait just a few more minutes. I'm gonna share with you some of the product. These are our Stampin' Right markers and the colors I'm gonna be using today are Night of Navy, Highland Heather, uh, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry and Calypso Coral. So those are some really fun, bright colors. And then here's some of the paper. I'm gonna share some of this with you. Of course, it's two-sided. There's 48 sheets in the pack. It's just really fun, fun patterns. I think it's a great one because it's got a lot of patterns and colors that would definitely be masculine, but also there's feminine ones. I think it's a great um, generic kids um, paper pack. So if you just go through and there's just more and more and more, I just love it. It's so much fun. I'm also going to be using two stamp sets. The two stamp sets I'm using are Happiest of Birthdays, which I think is a great sentiment birthday stamp set. But I'm going to combine it with the pattern play. I think some of these extra little pieces here um, are really good. I'm using this little confetti right here. I might, um, I'm going to be sharing a couple things with it and then I'll follow up during the week with a few other projects using these so that you can even see how much further you can go with them. Okay, let's get started. The first card I'm going to do today is this one right here. And it has the wishing, happiest of, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. It's the large image and this is the fold that I have. So it's a great way to use your designer series paper and not only get to see the front, but you also get to see the back of it. I'm going to start with a piece of Night of Navy cardstock. It's five and a half inches by five and a half, and then it's scored at four and a quarter. So it gives us a little one and a quarter inch flap right there. I'm going to use a piece that is three and three quarters by five inside. Sorry about that. Um, and then I'm using one sheet of our designer series paper. It's six by six. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that how I need it for our project. I'm gonna start off by cutting a one inch strip. And then I'm gonna trim that off at three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to take, let me get that out of the way, whoops. And then I'm sorry about that, I need this four inches right here. I'm not used to using my um, the cutter as a small cutter, but I thought it was easier to bring in today instead of bringing my big cutter. And then again, I'm gonna take off three quarters of an inch. Okay, so we're going to bring this back in. Now the stripe piece right here, and I have the little piece right here, so we can choose to do it this way, or we can do it how the card is. So I think I'm going to do it the reverse just so that we get a different look. The first thing I'm going to do is take adhesive and roll it right down here like that. 
I'm going to go ahead and center that on my Knight of Navy and then just fold this over. Next, I'll put some adhesive on my strip here. So this is one inch by five and a quarter. We'll put that down right there. And then this piece here is four inches by five and a quarter. All right. I'm gonna set that aside for the inside. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our stamping. I'm going to bring my stamparatus here. And then what I did, or what I use when I use my Stamparatus, is I got a piece of this um, plastic. It's kind of what quilters use to do patterns and stuff on. And I kind of use that as my template when I'm trying to position things on my Stamparatus. So what I would do is I could lay this down on top of my base, and then I could put my form right here. Take that, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put this down first, and I'm gonna slip this in. I use this as a template. So I die cut my um, Stitch So Sweetly rectangle, and then I'm gonna put that down, and I'm gonna set this right on top. Put my magnet down like that, and then I can take some ink. I'm gonna take a light color, and I'm going to ink up my image and then I can go ahead and stamp it down. And then once I do that, I can see if it's where I want it to be. And so you can see where it's centered there. So now I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna lift this, and then I can go ahead and put this, whoops, I scooted just a smidge, but that's okay, there we go, like that. So now I know that when I go and stamp down that my placement's going to be right. So now I'm gonna wipe this off. All right, and now we're going to ink that up with our Knight of Navy. I'm going to bring this back down. All right, and now I'm going to give it a good press. Now, one of the neat things about the Stamparatus is you notice right here I didn't stamp it well. So I'm going to ink that up again. And I can come right back down and give it a good press. Just like that. And look how nice that image is. It's nice and solid and it covered all the areas. Now, if you noticed in my card, I added this in a couple different colors. And what I did is just took some scrap paper I had. This time I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this in here like that. And then I'm going to grab some paper. I've got my little template there, so I kind of have an idea. And I'm just gonna slide this one under. And it doesn't matter if it's straight or anything, because I'm going to be cutting it. And then I'm gonna slide this one under, just like that. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna ink that up again. Pull it down. And now I have my two little pieces that I can use. I'm gonna set that back up there because we're going to use that again. So now I'll bring in my scissors. And I'm just going to trim these out right here. Hi Kathleen, hi Sherry, hi Rhonda, hi Pam. Kathy and Teresa and Liz, wow, I've got a big group of you. Thank you guys so much for joining. I don't know about you, but I have not used my Stamparatus lately, and I just thought today was a good day to bring it out and do a little Stamparatus work here. Let me throw that out there. Okay, let's bring this back in. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and put them on the back here. I thought I made it just wide enough that I could just use the regular ones. I'm hoping they don't show through. Let's see. I'm just going to plop that down right on top there. And we'll do one on the back of this. Okay, there 
there we go. All right. Now with this suite of uh, paper and stamp set, there's this beautiful ribbon. I just love it. And I hadn't used it at all yet, so we're gonna go ahead and use that today. I'm gonna take this one. Now this is a bundle, so you get all three different ribbons in the one set. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just trim it off. Now the color, um, you may notice if you look at the paper, it says Purple Posy, which Purple Posy and Highland Heather, I kind of use together a lot. Um, I think they coordinate well enough that if you are doing something, you can switch out and use either one. So I wanted my stamping to be a little bit darker when I did it on a couple of projects, so I went and used the Highland Heather. All right, so now I have my little bow right here, a little knot. And then I take, I took a piece of the Calypso Coral, I, I'm sorry, not Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, and I just laid it there on top. And then I took the navy. And this is just like an eighth inch. It's really, really tiny. And I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers. And I'm actually doing that. That's for the next card. So I'm going to take that off my fingers. I'm using the navy on two cards. Um, I got all excited about a little trick I was going to show you. But I'm going to come back here. We're just going to tie a bow. There we go. This ribbon is a lot like our um, quarter inch white ribbon that we have. It's very um, soft and, you know, it kind of, I want to say it's a little bit slippery, but not too bad. Okay, so there we have that. And now we can put that on the front. So I'm going to add some more dimensionals. Scoot that over just a smidge. And then we're going to pop this up on the front. I love this layout. I think it's a really simple one. It's a great one to use up your designer series paper. It's just really fun. Tomorrow I'm going to be sharing on my um, Two for Tuesday another card um, with totally different paper but the same layout. Now for the inside, I'm going to bring back my Stamparatus. And I'm going to bring in another, I already set it up, and this one here has It's Your Day. I'm going to go ahead and set this right there. I did already match this up like I showed you earlier. And I should put my magnet on there. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just ink that up. Set that back aside, and then we can come and put this on the inside. There we go. So this is the first card. There's two, the exact same card, just switching the paper. And as you notice, the paper is just the opposite, so I only had to use one sheet of paper. So I hope you like that card. That was a fun one. All right. Next, we're going to do this card right here. This one was a lot of fun. It takes a little bit more when you're using the Stamparatus because you're using the same stamp over and over again. But the technique on this is called like a step technique or ladder technique, something like that. So I'm going to pull it in. So just to give you an example, I set up my piece so that it would fit right here. And as we move down the paper, each time we're gonna go down a step, down a step, down a step, all the way down like that. So let's get out our supplies and we can get started. The sheet of paper I started with was this one right here. I did a lot of different things with it and it'll be fun to see how it turns out. So my white piece that's on the front is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and line that up right on here. And I'm gonna put my magnet over to the left right here. 
I'm just going to set these up here out of the way a little bit first. I'm going to start at the top, and that's with our Calypso Coral. Let's move this just a little bit more because then you can see, I think, a little bit better. And I'm going to stamp that right up there in the corner. And then I'm going to take my little cleaner here and clean this off. Then the next color I'm using is my crushed curry. I'm going to ink that up. And I'm moving it down just one step. And I'm going to stamp that and then lift it up. We're going to clean that off again. Make sure I got that good. And then I'm going to bring in my coastal cabana. with the Stamparatus is so much easier than if you were to do it with just trying to eyeball it. So I really like being able to use the Stamparatus when I want things really, want to make sure they're in a specific spot. All right. There we go. And then the last one is going to be our Knight of Navy. That turned out really really nice there with all those colors all right I'm gonna pull this one off and then I'm gonna bring this one back down and then my inside piece we're going to go ahead and do that one the washi tape I have here is just kind of a guideline I usually will set it up so that I know where to go and place my fa my paper back down when I go to stamp. So here we go. My gardeners decided to come a little bit late today, so hopefully it's not too loud with them. All right, there we go. So I'm going to pull this off because I didn't quite clean that off. And set this aside over here. And now we'll bring our card back in. So we have our inside, we have our outside, and then I'm going to bring over these little pieces here. Bring back my stamping pad here and put these on top. So we're going to do a little bit more stamping and cleaning. I'm going to just open this up here so that it'll be easier. And then I'm using this little like confetti. Um, stamp that is from the pattern play right here. So you have that right there. And I'll just go ahead and start with one of the colors and I'm just stamping some of the little sparkles on there. So coral. There we go. And our last one is that night of navy. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for just a moment and we'll go ahead and glue these on. These pieces are seven eighths of an inch by two and a quarter. I just kind of measured the distance right here and found. Um, somewhat an even spot in there. And then I laid this down right in the middle. So this designer series paper is just that from that full sheet of paper and I just took it and trimmed it down for these little spots. It's just a great way to use more of the designer series paper. 
and I love how easily it coordinates. You don't have to do a lot of thinking or planning with colors because in this set, it already gives you all the colors that you need. All you gotta do is bring it all together. We'll put this on there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring back that navy ribbon, knight and navy ribbon. I'm gonna wrap it around and bring it to about right there. And then I'm going to trim this off. I'm going to still be using some more of that. Next, I'm going to bring my Take Your Pick tool and one of the little glue dots, and I'm going to put it down right here, wherever I want my knot to be. There we go. We're going to bring this around. Try and get my fingers out of the way so you can see. I'm just looping it over one time, and then I'm pressing it down onto that glue dot. Now, if you wanted to tie a bow, you could go ahead and tie a bow right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Knight of Navy, just wrap it around my fingers three or four times. Really, it doesn't, as, much, as full as you'd like your bow is how many times you're going to wrap it around. So then I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then just, I'm kind of holding it with my hand and then squeeze it together. There you go, and then I've got this fluffier bow. So instead of just one skinny layer of the navy, now I've got several loops on there, and it just is a little fluffier. Just adds a little bit more. There we go, pull it out a little bit. And it kind of reminds me of like a you know those fluffy bows you get on top of a gift or something and so I thought being it's a birthday present that that would look kind of cute there. Hi Carol. Hi Robin. I'm glad you guys joined me. I will be posting um, the, the uh, cutting instructions and a picture of each of the cards in the file section later today so that if you wanted to create the card, you can go back and um, see the actual dimensions and the product in that. So I put dimensionals on the back, and so I've got that on the front there. And then on the inside, I thought I would do a little bit more stamping. And so I am going to take this little one that has um, six little dots on it. And we're going to use that. So I'm not going to use the Knight of Navy, but I'm going to use the other colors. So we can use a little Calypso Coral. And I am going to stamp that off and then stamp it. And then I'm going to take some of our Crushed Curry, stamp it off, stamp it. A little bit of our Calypso Coral. I mean, I keep calling it Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana. Whoops, and that one's full strength. I didn't mean that to be full strength, but that's okay. Stamp that one off, and I'm gonna bring that over there. And now I'm gonna come right back on top, and this one matches up to it. So now I'm going to do this in full strength, and because it's photopolymer, we can see right through, and we can stamp right on top. This one won't show as much because it's both the same color, but that's okay. There we go. And then the last one is the Calypso Coral. So it just adds a little bit on um, a little bit of color on the inside of the card. Whoops. I caught the edge there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we're going to put this on the inside. I like how the colors kind of like stand out with the navy that's behind it. All right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our envelope and I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive here on the envelope and then take, this is a piece that's two inches by the six, and that put it right up against there like that. And then I can turn it over, 
dropped my scissors, but I can turn it over and then just trim away. And if you want here on the front, you could go back and you could um, stamp some of the little um, little sparkler little guys on here. I'm just going to add a couple, not too many. But... There we go. And why not finish off? Let's see, that was Calypso Coral. And then I don't have that color on there. We'll do a little bit of the yellow. Clean that off. We'll get some more of the Highland Heather. That on there. And then the last one will be our Coastal Cabana. All right. I think by just having some fun with the envelope, I just think that really ties us in. And anyone would love to get that card in the mail. It's bright and cheery. So we have this card here with the envelope, and then I'm going to bring back in, let me move those out of the way, there we go, we'll bring back in these two. So those are the two cards that I designed for today's Facebook Live. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I, I think the colors are just bright and cheery, and with the paper pack, I think you could switch it out. And you can make a very masculine card, feminine card. They're great for kids. So it's just a really, really fun, um, fun set. I do want to share one other thing with you. And that is my July card club that I have coming up. The stamp set that I'm going to be featuring is the Comfort and Hope stamp set. And in the card club, it's $25. And you're going to get $20 worth of product and six different or six cards. You're gonna get two each of three cards. Some of the items that will be included is this paper right here. This is our Peony Garden um, Designer Series paper. I love it. It's got petal pink, um, basic gray, and some gray granite. There's also the gray ribbon and these really cute elements right here, these elegant faceted gems. So those are part of what I used in the cards. And just to give you an idea what the cards look like, this is one of the cards that is included in the kit. So you'll be making two of this card and plus two other designs. If you're interested in this at all, just let me know. I have information on my um, Facebook page and also um, on my website. So I hope you like that. It's a really, really fun kit and um, I think you'll love it. You just need to sign up by the 10th of the month. It is $25, and then if you wanted to add uh, the Comfort and Hope stamp set, then it'll be $50 um, instead of the $25, but you're getting the stamp set along with it. All right, thank you so much. I'm going to bring back those cards in and set them out one more time. There we go. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the projects that I created and that you might want to try them too. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.